Right, we're on. Right, so, welcome. Uh, uh, this is the very first vlog that we're ever going to do on Harrogate Food Bus, um, which means I'm quite nervous. I don't know if Paul's nervous or not. Yeah, I am a, a little, little bit. bit nervous, but we're all right. Um, so, we're in Peggy Bridge uh, with Paul Kendall from Kendall's Butchers, um, which were the very first people to say yes to uh, being part of the new vlog, um, which is fab. I met Paul June time, I think. I reckon it was. Um, to talk to him about the food assembly um, and learn a lot more about Kendall's at the time. So, it felt really uh, a good idea to come back and chat to Paul because even though Kendall's for many ha people that live in Harrogate is a really well established butchers um, there will be people out there that have never walked through the shop door in Harrogate or in Peyton Bridge um, and that don't know about everything that they do and how much of a local focus that they actually have um, both in the meat that they source um, and the product that they produce in house so we're going to kick off we're just going to do a few questions just to um, learn a bit more about Kendall's and share with you kind of the passion behind the business um, and why Paul does what he does. So, uh, first of all, Paul, just tell us a bit about you and about Kendall's, the history of Kendall's Butchers as well. Yeah, um, my granddad bought the business back in 1968 uh, before I was born, and he came up here with his daughter, my auntie, and his son, you know, my dad, me and Kendall. Yeah. And my granddad was already a butcher, he used to work for the co-op, and he was a trainer for the co-op in those days, which was a that was it, that was the top of the league of food shops with the co op back in those days. Yeah. And he was a trainer and he saw an opportunity to come to Paley Bridge and to set up a butcher's shop and invited the, his family with him to have a nice family, you family know, business, yeah, yeah. family business. We've got a little yard up the back, a little garden, and it, it just seemed to work. So my friend had bought this off a guy called John Hardy, who'd been, been as a butcher, a few generation butcher as well before that, and, and, and set the butchers going and, and it turned into TFN Kendall and Son, yeah. which then went through the generations, my, my dad had took it on about 86 I think it was, my brother died in about 86, and then my dad took it on and then in 1999 to 2000 my dad retired and, 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 and I've been running it since the year 2000, ah. so so it's been good. Good stuff. acquired the Harrogate shop, the shop over in Harrogate, that's over yeah. a decade ago, we took that one over 10 years ago, 11 years in August, which, is, uh, which has been a good asset to the business yeah. and the uh, Harrogate shop does really well, it's really, really busy and people yeah. still think of it being a new shop to Kendall's yeah. and when I say to people it's been there for over 10 years, we're only off to his, oh my god I haven't even been in yet, I said, you need yeah. to go in because it's a cracking shop, a really good buzz there and you need to check it out, good lads there, and it's easy parking and, and, and it's good but people yeah. forget, don't realise it's been there for 10 years already. No. I think when I, when you chat to people in Harrogate and when I moved in Harrogate in 2005, um, and when you chat to people and you ask them for recommendations of where to go and you talk about butchers, Kendall's is always the first one that's mentioned, so I think obviously it says a lot for how well established and the reputation that that shop has in Harrogate. It's really nice to see that. But you, could, you should come out to Paintley Ridge though, because it's much prettier than Harrogate. The drive out is beautiful. Paintley's good, it's a totally, totally different shop. They're yeah. exactly the same, same produce, same pricing. Nearly the same staff, we swap it around, but the shops are so different. Two yeah. different shopping experiences, and apparently one to the Arrogant, there's two shop different experiences. So it's great when we get people coming into the shop and saying, oh, we went to the Arrogant shop last week for the first time, and it's really good. Yeah. And I always ask them, how did the lads do look after you? And they always say the lads are fantastic, and, yeah. and they look after as well. And I think vice versa, sometimes some of the Arrogant customers will come to me for the shop yeah. and go and report back to Rob and say how we did as well. Good so stuff. that's pretty cool when that happens. Good stuff. Um, so the reason I approached Kendall's, as I said at the beginning, was um, mainly about kind of what they produced um, themselves in house because they've got a massive range of things that they produce in house. But also, Paul will tell you a little bit about how they source the meat that they have within the butchers as well because that is predominantly local as well, if yeah. not all local. Yeah, we could try and get everything from at least out of Yorkshire. But I've got a buyer, what um, a guy called Nick Dolby who lives local. He's just, he just does it as a, as a bit of a hobby really and stuff. But Nick. He's a buyer for me who's been a farmer all his life. He knows that side of the market so well. He knows what we're after, but he goes to the Otley market, to the Paley market, to Firk market, to Skipton market, and goes to all the shows, and he's buying us the best, most local, you know, beef, yeah. lamb and pork of what you can get. And a lot of the farmers, we know the farmers well, the farmers shop back with us, yeah. and it just goes really well into the community and links up the community really well. It's the, yeah. it's the stability of the whole area. And on the back of that, you know, we sport 
anything what's going on if somebody's trying to lose weight for charity or somebody's yeah. jumping out of a plane for charity or somebody's having a, there's a bowling green competition or there's a cricket match on or a football match on or a kids football match on the first schools raising money or anything yeah. the first thing anybody says is oh we'll go to Kendall's we'll and get a voucher <laughs> and I'm happy you know I support absolutely everybody sometimes you know it might be only a tenner voucher or something and sometimes I might do a little bit more to support yeah. it back or do the pies really cheap whatever because it's a pleasure to support these places because that's the community absolutely. and I always think if there's something going on and it's a pie and peas I want them to be in our pies <laughs> absolutely <laughs> so there's no better rep than that is there so that? tell us about the pies because I think those are like your most popular products the pies are by far I think if you had to put any of Kindles would say I think they'd say the service and, and the lads and, and friendliness but I think the pies is our backbone of the business, if you yeah. like, and we do so many pies. But I think it's as, as a business, we're obsessed in just keeping it right and just keeping it simple. And the pies are just, you know, the spot yeah. on everything we do. The pork's all our fresh local bone out pork, what we do, and yeah. we make all the pastry ourselves. All the staff are local. I've had my staff, all of them have been here 10 years and more, really. Yeah. There's a couple of Narragut have been with us but since for about five or six years, but staff in pit have been here forever so we know it inside out and everything yeah. is just you know how it should you know yeah everything customers. is just as it should be hopefully Good so stuff. we don't have any uh retraining and restaffing it, it no it runs really well i've got a fantastic it says team a lot about you it. as a boss <laughs> I think I cling on in there a little bit. I seem to, I seem to get on with me, and I get on well with them. And I think every single member of staff I've got is absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm lucky, but I try and do that back as well. But through it all, we have a team not only in house where we look after each other, and we are there for each other. Yeah. I think customers can see that we've got a good, strong team. Yeah. And and the customers are part of the team. Out of the customers, we're we're, we're nothing. So yeah, I like to think they can come and tell us anything and do anything and we'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't do stress. We all say stress is a no work is a no yeah. stress environment. We come here just do our best and we'll solve any problems. And I think it's very much like good old fashioned service, isn't it? Which is what's missing often from. Uh, bigger businesses is that kind of personal gets kind of community. Totally yeah. lost, yeah. Absolutely. I ring up something like BT or freaking something like I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't know. Da. What was that? I ring up a bigger, a bigger, a bigger nameless company. A company nameless right? tele- and you're going absolutely, company. you're going absolutely nowhere fast. Yeah. Because nobody's that bothered. No. In Kendall's, the staff are really bothered. Yeah. And I am really, really more bothered than anybody else on the planet. Yeah. If so, so that's that's that. Yeah. Yeah. Key, uh, yeah so that's customer that. service. Yeah. Customer service is massive. Fabulous. What so that probably answers the next next question. But what aspect of Kendall's are you most proud of? I'm the, the community of it all, and where Kendall's stands in in, in with people, and we have customers coming in week in week out. I've grown up with them, and you, you see their kids growing up with you, and they are Kendall's customers, and, and we're part of them. Like they're part of us, like I'm part of them, and, and it's just a big family, and it's great. Yeah. You can travel, go on holiday, and you. Nearly, definitely see some all do you know hey up oh, you're alright yeah. you know and it's just it's great people spread and you know people who have gone abroad and they'll speak to somebody and they'll say ah oh, you know where from Perth oh are you near yeah. that butchers type thing and it, there's just that connection that feeling that feeling of community is just just incredible and, 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 and it's got it in the built in shop and there we get shopping in this shop here and it's, yeah. it's just great and I love the feeling that people feel part of us and we're a part of them it's great yeah absolutely Okay, and uh, just to kind of finish off, because we will share a few more uh, bits of information through um, some other posts after the vlog, um, but one of the things I'm going to ask every single producer that I meet is to shout out another local food producer um, that they love themselves. It can be anybody, um, and it can obviously within this area. Um, so, Paul, who would you give a shout out to in terms of another fabulous local food business? Definitely Caff. In Fish River Tw- Twist, which is the little fish is in Pately Bridge, which um, Kath runs it so well, the fish is so awesome, it's so clean, so tidy, and she's just immaculate. But we are like the opposite of what the butchers is, where they're, where they're closest to the animals we get, we're trying to get the localist stuff. She's in the middle of Yorkshire, nowhere near the ocean, no. but she's sourcing the best fish in the best place on top of Pately Ice Street. And she, people talk about a hidden gem. That's Fish it, with a that. twist is purely his hidden gem, and hopefully, if you get some, you see it. You won't see that, and there's nobody but doesn't go into the fish little fishmongers next door and go, "Wow, yeah. wow. what's this doing here? Wow!" And it, and that's Fish with a twist deserves a deserves a call out because it's absolutely awesome. Fabulous. So we're going to go and check them out as soon as we've finished here with Paul. Um, so that's it for our very first blog. Um, like I said, we'll follow it up with some more information about some of the products. 
um, and a bit more about Kendall's. But we hope you enjoyed it. That wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. I liked it. I liked it. I did like <laughs> so it. So we'll see how that goes down. And we'd love any kind of commentary or feedback or anything that you have, um, either for Paul or myself. Um, and that's it. Thank you.